Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about PMS and PMDD, some of the causes and most common symptoms of these conditions. So often I find that for women, there is an imbalance in estrogen and something called estrogen dominance in which, relatively speaking, there is more estrogen, and this is often because of xenoestrogens in the environment, and this causes a negative impact on the cellular function and health of women women who have these xenoestrogens. So these are toxic estrogens. I have other videos that talk about how to mitigate your risk against these xenoestrogens and some of the most common sources of these estrogens. So we'll put a link in the description to that video so that you can find that easily. Also magnesium deficiency is very common in women who suffer with PMS and PMDD. And often the magnesium deficiency symptoms are just those symptoms that I will be talking about now in terms of PMS. And PMDD, if you don't know what this is, is premenstrual dysphoric disorder. So it's a very heightened type of PMS. So a lot of the same symptoms that I'm gonna go through, but they can be really exasperated in women that are suffering with PMDD. Okay, so let's talk now about the symptoms of both PMS and PMDD. So one of the most common is mood swings. So the women who just have difficulty regulating their moods, this is very, very common, as well as headaches, and chronic headaches that happen at different times of the month and during the cycles, whether it's before the, the period and the menses, or it could be during, or it could be after as well. Also an increase in anxiety, and this is very common with PMS sufferers and especially PMDD sufferers. Also crying easily, and again, regulating those emotions is very difficult for women that are suffering through this. Also skin reactions, so whether that's chronic acne and the acne comes back at certain times of the month. Also oily skin can be related to this syndrome. Fatigue and just lack of overall get up and go energy as I call it can be a huge factor in those times of PMS and PMDD. Also a lot of GI symptoms. So it could be a lot of abdominal bloating that happens before and around the period. A ton of food cravings and of course it's never for the healthy foods. It's always for the wrong thing. So for the chocolate, for you know the the sugars, the alcohol, and all the wrong fatty foods and salty foods, especially around the time of the menses. Also tender or swollen breasts can be a common sign of this also difficulty concentrating, and a decrease in sex drive. So a decrease in libido is very common. Also menstrual cramps and just not feeling comfortable around the time of the period. And also in terms of the GI symptoms, a lot of diarrhea and constipation. So this can go back and forth. Constipation before the period is quite common. And then as the flow starts, then you know the more frequent stools and everything sort of evacuates. So if this is you, if this is something that you're suffering through, through as a woman, my whole message is that you need not suffer. And especially, I want you to really pay attention to your symptoms because especially with the PMS and especially with the PMDD, this can have a lot of mental emotional ramifications as much as you know, people will say that PMS isn't a real thing, especially the guys might say this and the husbands, it is a real thing and it's something that as women we suffer through, but my whole message is that we need not suffer. So that was it. Those were you know the causes and symptoms of both PMS and PMDD. If you've got questions or you've got comments that you know, you like to share with me, please do leave it in the comment section below. Please be sure to share this with all of the women and maybe some of the guys need this information as well that you know who can benefit from the information in today's video. Also, if you've learned something new, I appreciate a huge thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of your positive feedback. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I hope that you'll click that subscribe button. Also click all notifications so that you always get my newest and latest uploads. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.